Monitoring spirits are demonic entities sent by the devil to gather information about individuals. This is because the devil relies on information to strategize how he can best attack you. If there is one thing the devil is very good at, it's patience. He knows how to take his time, plan, and then launch. And the truth of the matter is, a vast majority of people are being monitored by the devil, but are just not aware of it. In this video, I'm going to share five major signs that you may be under surveillance from these spirits, but you aren't aware. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Sign number one, the constant feeling of being watched. The first sign that a monitoring spirit might be after you is an unexplained sense of being watched or followed. Have you ever been somewhere alone, but yet you suddenly feel like someone or something was staring at or following you? Then you look around but find nothing. But down deep you have this nagging feeling that something is watching you. At first you might think you were just imagining things, but no, it's not always the case. This actually happened in the Bible. In the book of Job, chapter 4, verses 12 to 16, a young man named Eliphaz described a frightening scenario he had that illustrates this phenomenon. He said, A spirit went past my face, and the hair on my body stood up. The spirit stopped, but I could not tell what it was. A form stood before my eyes, and I heard a hushed voice. Eliphaz sensed a presence, heard whispers, and felt the spirit go past and stopped in front of him. He knew there was something around him, yet he wasn't quite clear what it was. That is exactly how monitoring spirits work. Let me explain. Even though you are a physical human being, you have a spirit that dwells within you. So even though you are physically awake, your spirit man is also able to sense spiritual activities around you. The Bible calls this the spirit of discernment. This is how Apostle Paul was able to tell that the little girl who had followed him in Acts chapter 16 was operating from a demonic spirit. If you keep having a sense of a negative presence around you, it is important to take time and seek God in prayers, because these evil spirits like to go undetected. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 states, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Just as a lion scopes out a herd to find the most vulnerable target, monitoring spirits surveil our lives looking for any susceptibility to sin, discouragement, or destruction that the enemy can exploit. So, if you suddenly feel watched at home, work, or church for no sensible reason, resist fear. Command any monitoring presence to leave in Jesus' name, and ask the Holy Spirit to fill that space with His presence and perfect love which drives out all fear. Sign number two, constant intrusiveness from others. A second sign of monitoring spirits is a pattern of increased invasiveness from certain people. We all have that one friend, colleague, or relative who just won't stop asking too many questions. They will keep asking and digging for information about your life that doesn't concern them. And even when you answer some of their questions, they just wouldn't stop. They will keep digging for further information than necessary. You know what's happening. The devil is indirectly using them without their knowledge to gather more intel from you. They are simply blind vessels that the enemy is using to pick up sensitive info from you. Now don't get me wrong, I'm by no means saying it is wrong to share, but there is a limit to how much you should share. Be wary of those digging for sensitive information, particularly if they fail to share freely about themselves too. For instance, say a new friend insists on knowing specifics about whether you are pregnant, the gender of the baby, the job you applied for, where it's located, the names of the interviewers, the exact position title and salary range. The depth of questioning almost seems like an interrogation. If your spirit tells you this person's inquiries are not coming from a place of care or accountability, be on guard. Persistent invasiveness can point to a monitoring spirit. While their intrusiveness may spring from a place of concern, it can also serve a darker spiritual agenda. Scripture warns to walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time, because the days are evil. An overly intrusive person may be a willing or unwilling conduit of information for the enemy. Their nosiness provides data for spirits assigned to analyze your vulnerabilities. So while transparency with trusted friends can be healthy, always listen to your spirit when conversing. Set wise boundaries around what you share. Sign number three, repeated patterns of failure or misfortune. The third sign that monitoring spirits may be at work against you is a pattern of repeated last-minute failures or misfortunes. Have you noticed an uptick in experiencing major setbacks, accidents, errors, or system malfunctions just as you approach a breakthrough or long-awaited open door? 
For instance, finally landing your dream interview only to suddenly fall sick or misplace vital documents the day before. These spirits always wait for you to get very close to your breakthrough before they strike. While we live in a fallen world where Murphy's Law often prevails, a pattern of precise timing associated with your biggest opportunities being undermined points to deliberate spiritual opposition. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Luke 10.19 assures that Jesus has given us authority to tread on these enemies and their power over us. The enemy wants to hinder and frustrate you, but God desires you to walk in victory and purpose. Sign number four, persistent nightmares. The fourth sign of a monitoring spirit's activity is persistent nightmares involving themes of being followed, pursued, or imprisoned. Our spiritual and physical states interact, so disturbing dreams could reflect how monitoring entities harass the mind and spirit while you slumber. Dreams are one portal through which God can communicate with us. If you are repeatedly tormented at night with dreams of being stalked, hunted, trapped, arrested, or unable to run from evil forces chasing you, pay attention. This could signal that monitoring spirits assigned against you are waging attacks in the dream realm. Just as God plants dreams, visions, and prophetic words in our spirits, the enemy also seeks to sow demonically inspired nightmares, carrying fear, torment, confusion, and discouragement. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 promises, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. No monitoring spirit, no matter how foreboding in a dream, can ultimately stand against the conquering power of Christ in you. Reject all demonically inspired visions in Jesus' name. Ask the Holy Spirit to recapture that ground with better prophetic dreams that release faith, hope, and a victorious kingdom perspective over your life, family, and future. Sign number five, false accusations. The last sign monitoring spirits are at work in your life or relationships is increased accusation, slander, and character assassination attempts against you. Beware of unusual spikes in criticism, condemnation, cursing, mockery, and gossip from people around you. While offense comes with the territory of leadership, concentrated attacks that feel personalized and premeditated could point to monitoring spirits. Remember, Revelation chapter 12.10 identifies Satan as the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night. Spirits assigned to monitor your life will seize upon and twist your past mistakes and vulnerabilities. They will manipulate others to slander you, cursing your future and seeking to discredit your witness. Why? ultimately to poison your image, shipwreck your faith, and sideline you from fulfilling your God-given purpose. Romans 8 verses 33 to 34 assures us, Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Take heart. No accusation can withstand the power of the cross. Jesus' blood speaks a better word over your life than any curse or criticism. Declare by faith that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Then walk free from condemnation into the righteous identity Christ purchased for you. Thank you for watching. If this teaching blessed you, hit subscribe to stay updated on all my latest videos.